Welcome to 600 Battles Road, ladies and gentlemen, one of the coolest estates, homes for sale in Gates Mills, Ohio. We're here with Rachel Liberati, the listing agent with Howard Hanna. This house was built in 1925. Can you imagine what was going on during that time? And now here we are 100 years later, and it is not only still standing, it has been completely remodeled, updated, modernized for you with every convenience. And we're gonna show you guys around inside 600 Battles Road. Hey guys, I'm Rachel Liberati, I'm with Howard Hanna, and I'm here to show you one of the best properties that Cleveland has to offer, so follow me inside. All right, come on in. Welcome to Battles Manor. So the current owner of this estate is Roman Coppola, who's a celebrated filmmaker and vintner. And when he contacted me, he wanted to find a pre-war home. I know a lot of you have probably heard the term pre-war, but not many people really know what that is. So a pre-war home really refers to a property that was built at the turn of the century, the 20th century, up until World War II. So it's roughly 1899 to 1939. And the significant features of a pre-war home are always going to include complete hardwood, red oak floors, high archways, high ceilings, rounded archways, and lots of fireplaces. In fact, there were so many homes using the fireplaces, and this is when they became very popular, that FDR actually termed his fireside chats based on the pre-war homes. All right, so now that you had a little history lesson. I'm going to take you through and show you. Here we have one of, I think, five actually fireplaces. One of them is exterior. Coming through the grand foyer here, this is a nice little nook. Used to be a telephone booth. All right, now it's just a nice little nook for art. And of course, in this waiting area that they used to use so much, you had to have a bar. I will step into the great room. This is the entertaining room. Perfect for a grand piano, a social salon, what have you. Very large fireplace. I'll stand by it so you can see just how big this is. This features the original marble. This home was built in 1925. So we are almost at 100 years now. When Roman bought it, the home had been almost completely untouched. And that was what stood out to him and what he was looking for. He is now building a replica of this home in Napa to the tune of $8 million. And it hasn't been completed yet. This, however, is available to you for $2,150. And it sits on 13 and a half gorgeous rolling acres with a pond that's stocked, 120,000 square foot equestrian facility, an additional barn, and a carriage house with a two bedroom apartment. It also doesn't hurt that the sun sets right in the middle of the tree line. In Gates Mills, which is, as we all know in Cleveland, a very prestigious part of town. Here you have a pizza oven, which you don't see all the time in a century home and the three season room. Out here on the Grand Lawn is the perfect opportunity for an Olympic sized pool. This would also be a beautiful property for corporate events or for hosting a wedding. I'm gonna go into the office now. What was once a very dark paneled library is now brightened up for the modern family. Since most of us work from home now, we had to have a very happy environment for the office. So of course we kept the integrity of the fireplaces again. We are now seeing the fourth fireplace if you're counting. All right, so here is another beautiful view outside with custom built-ins that were redone and as well as all of the light fixtures, all of the moldings, all of the walls, everything is new. 
The floors, the integrity of the character all remains original, but we also updated what was necessary to be convenient for the modern family. If you like to entertain, welcome to your dining room. This dining room, of course, could serve as many different things since it's an enormous room, but I do love the grandness of it. The flow of it works very well for entertaining as it opens up to this outdoor patio, giving you direct access to outside as well as direct access to the kitchen. All of the light fixtures and finishes were hand selected by my favorite interior designer, Jesse Sabi with Paskovich and Associates. And Jim Fox, the general contractor, did all of this custom cabinetry. And a nod to the pre-war is this beautiful red oak countertop. That was not an accident. Okay, so you're entering the kitchen now, which is right off of the butler's pantry and the dining room, also very easy for entertaining. Before, this kitchen was completely different layout, and it had been redone in the 80s, so no need to tell you that it needed to be redone again. This kitchen was not connected to the breakfast room, however, so we had to open that up, again, because every family now wants to be able to hang out while they're in the kitchen, see the kids, whatnot, so we connected these two rooms together while still maintaining the separateness that this style home demands. So we have this beautiful breakfast nook as well as a storage closet here that I think would be a perfect spot for a floor to ceiling wine refrigerator. And now the show-stopping kitchen. All of this cabinetry is completely custom. And as you can see, we did not skimp. We've got some beautiful features here. And as well as all of the built-in microwave, we have all new appliances, of course. Another nod to tie in the red oak underneath the farm sink. And the beautiful Thermador chef's stove and range. And then the best view from the whole house right here. While you're in the kitchen, you can look out at your beautiful property. Oh, hi again. Okay, just reading in my little spot here at the top of the staircase as we enter into the primary suite. We have a side-by-side -side situation here of almost mirror image bedrooms. We reserved one bedroom for the walk-in closet and one for the bedroom. So we'll come over here. Not a bad place to wake up in the morning. Beautiful views directly to the pond in the backyard. And then a nice sitting room as well, which is not the closet as I just mentioned. But just a nice area for a vanity or a reading nook. This is a king size bed, so as you can see, it's a very large room. Again, we have the classic rounded archways and the solid oak floors. 
We also, I should mention, kept the registers here, but they are not in use. We have four brand new furnaces and four brand new air conditioners. This is just because we love the charm and the look of them, but they're not actually being used at the moment. So we have two furnaces in the, uh, I'm sorry, two furnaces in the attic and two in the basement, and then they're zoned all over the home. All right, so coming into the bathroom. So while people want turn of the century charm, you'll better guess they also want to have modern amenities. And so to please everyone, we figured we need to have a really beautiful primary bath. This bathroom had to be completely restructured and resized. So we actually had to steal from two closets on the other side of the hallway in order to make room for a proper sized bathroom. Another amenity that you don't see in a pre-war home is a very large walk-in closet. What once was used as a bedroom, perhaps a nursery, is now the perfect space for a glamorous, enormous closet. So although this home was very large, about 10,000 square feet in all, 8,300 on the first two levels, that can sound intimidating, but it's actually not that large when you break it down. There are four large bedrooms in this home and then other rooms that could be used as bedrooms or of course something else. So it's actually not that large when you're in it. All right, so come on through to one of the other large bedrooms. This one I think would be perfect as an ensuite because it actually connects through the bathroom to one of the, lar the smaller rooms, which would be ideal for a sitting room or an office. And that's why I think this ensuite would be the best option. Every bathroom upstairs has been completely gutted. Here's one of the smaller bedrooms, so not one of the four that I mentioned. This would be a great playroom, homework room, what have you, and it's connected to my favorite room in the house. I'm a painter, so this room really speaks to me, and I think it would speak to anyone who has a creative passion. You've got loads of sunlight pouring in, you see the whole property from this room, and it just makes me want to create something. I think it's a magical space. So this large hallway that connects all of the bedrooms other than the primary has tons of storage. As you can see, four, five closets if you include this one. So that's another wonderful feature. It's not just the large home, it also has a lot of functional storage space. This is another one of the large bedrooms and every bedroom has a nice large closet. Okay, and here we are in the fourth large bedroom. This bedroom is a mirror image of the one we were just in, and as you saw, shares Jack and Jill. As we come down this arched hallway, you're gonna notice this other feature here. Again, just small details that you don't see anymore that make this place super special. I'm gonna take you up to the ballroom now. 
So a traditional ballroom, going back to the Victorian times, is where they would have the suitors come to meet their older teenage daughters and court them at their own homes. And they would have dances up here. Um, so this room has been reconfigured now. It now has a furnace. We kept the subfloor because I don't think it'll be used as a ballroom in the future. I'm not sure, but you never know what someone's gonna wanna do up here. So we kept the floor very neutral. And we also are plumbed for a full bath. So this would be an amazing rec room. It could be a movie theater. It could really be whatever you desire. Great features like this round window. So many cool, quirky elements. So would you be surprised if I told you that a nearly 100-year-old home had second floor laundry? Sometimes when a home gets old enough, you date back into the time that they had full-time staff. And the full-time staff lived upstairs. Along with everyone else, they slept upstairs. So all of the access to all of the cleaning had to be upstairs. So come on through and I'll show you what used to be staff quarters. Is now just another ensuite small bedroom. I like to think of this as the au pair suite. I think a lot of people these days have live-in au pairs and this is the perfect space for that. Another use for it, of course, would be a great office or craft room. All right, here we are at the back staircase. So this brings you right back down to the kitchen and to the informal powder that you haven't seen yet. So that gives two half baths on the first floor, four full baths on the second floor, a full bath on the third floor, but again, really four functional large bedrooms, which for most families is the requirement. Then you have some other rooms that could be used as whatever your family needs, such as an additional office, which many of us need right now. So when you really break it down, this home is a lovely size. The kitchen is, as you know, completely gutted and beautiful with all the most high-end appliances. So here we are back in the heart of the home. All right, so here we are outside and that you're looking at 13.3 beautiful acres. That's more or less a rectangle. So you can see way back to the pond, which is about an acre pond. The barn you're looking at is 120,000 some square feet and it includes 12 oversized stalls, a viewing room, an indoor arena, a hayloft, an office, you name it. In the second barn here that you see, we have an additional four stalls that the previous owner used to use for alpaca. And then we have the carriage house there with a four bay garage and a two bed, two bath finished apartment upstairs. So that's the entire house. This place is even more incredible in person. Uh, in the summer and the fall, the trees and the leaves and everything. It's just a beautiful property. It's very unique, very historic. Rachel Liberati with Howard Hanna. If you guys have any questions, give her a call. And thank you again for staying around with us. This incredible property. Thanks, guys.